all right guys so in this video i'm going to show you some of the basic setup work you need to do before start to learn mit app inventor the most important part is how to connect to your um, android phone through mit inventor so that you can run your programs all right now just a very basic um, and brief introduction about MIT App Inventor. So what you're seeing here is the actual official website. And then this is a great tool to teach and learn computer programming. So basically you can use this tool to make mobile apps. And don't worry if you don't have any programming experience before because this tool has really been designed for the beginners. So you can actually use some of the graphical elements we call the blocks to build programs easily. And then the blocks look simple, but you can actually make very powerful, very interesting apps. All right, so let's get started. Now, in this video, I just want to show the setups. All right, so we will give you more details and lessons once we start the course. All right, so to get to the site, and then this is the URL you can go, or you simply go to Google, and then just type App Inventor, and then you can see the MIT App Inventor site at the top. So you click on this and then it get, gets you to the same site. Now, the main feature you want to try from the side is right here called Create Apps. So if you click on Create Apps, and it asks you to log in. All right, so the MIT App Inventor uses your Google account. So you basically need to have a Google account ready. So I'm going to use mine here. All right, so I type my username as well as my password. So once I confirm, I can then give the permission to the MIT App Inventor to let the tool use my Google account to log in. So if you just click on allow, and you will be get into this uh, interface. All right. So if you can see this interface right here, that basically means you have successful login. And you basically just need to use your Google account. And the process is very straightforward. And you may not see exactly the same interface as here. You probably see just a, a list of project or maybe an empty view here. Uh, I have created a lot of projects already, so that's why you see a lot of projects. But in your screen, if this is the first time you're using App Inventor, then you don't have any apps, so it's going to be empty. But you can always click on a button here called Start a New Project. And then you type a project name. For example, I can say My First Project and click on OK. And that gets you to this um, basic editing screen. All right, so this is the very first step you want to do uh, to get started. So basically, go to the website and then log in with one of your Google's account. All right, so the second most important thing is how do we run and test this program? All right, so before we show you how to connect to your phone, let me first just demonstrate very quick how you can create some basic UIs and apps using this tool here. So it's actually very, very simple. As you can see, on the left hand side, you have a list of this UI elements. And then you can drag and drop, for example, buttons to the screen, I can put one more, just do the basic drag and drop. It's very simple. And then you can even uh, change the text on top of the button. So for example, right now it says text for button one. And then if I go to the right hand side here, there's a properties and I scroll down, there is one property called the text. So I can click on that. I can change it to, for example, yes. All right, so that's going to change the text for the button. And the same thing here, you can also do some changes. For example, this time I want to change the color. All right, so I want to change the background color of the button to be blue and that actually change it. And I can also change the text color to be maybe white. So that's how you can do some modification to see how the app inventor works. But overall, the tool, as I mentioned earlier, has been designed really to simplify the programming process so that even the beginners can start to make apps very quickly. All right, so now what I wanna show you next is to connect to your Android phone and to be able to run and test your app. All right, so here, um, let me show you my phone right here. All right, so I have my uh, phone here already open. 
And then the one you see here is actually my own Android phone. All right, so you need to get an Android phone. And then let me show you step by step how to connect your phone to the App Inventor and run your app. All right, so first of all, you have to go to the MIT App Inventor website. And then there is this tab called Resources. And you click on this Get Started. And this one here shows you the basic setup process. Now you can just go straight to this setup instructions. And then you can basically read this, but all it says is you have three options to use to connect your phone to the computer and run the apps. And you can see they actually recommend you to use option one, and which is also the one I would recommend you to, to try. And then this approach uses Wi-Fi to connect your phone and then so that you can send your program you edit it from the computer to the actual phone and to be able to run the pro program in the phone and to see how the app works. Let's try this. So if you click on instructions and then there are different steps. Now you can just follow this here. I'm just going to give you the uh, video live demo. Now the first step is you need to download and install this MIT App Inventor 2 campaigning app. All right, so this app is very important. This is a kind of a helper app that allows you to read the programs and run the programs. All right, so you have two options to, to download the app. You can either go to Google Play and in the actual app store to install and download this, or you can just use the URL here directly. So for example, if I just want to scan this QR code from my phone and then install it, let me just show it very quick. So I go to my phone, all right? And I'm gonna use my barcode scanner app and you can use whatever app you want or you can just simply go to the app store to download it. And I click on that. That's going to open my camera and I'm going to scan this QR code right here. All right, so now once I recognize this URL, I'm gonna click on this URL and it's going to ask me if you, I wanna download this app. I click on download. Once this is finished, I'm going to open the app and ask me if I want to install this app. I click on install. And then finally, I can just open the app. Once you open the app, you should be able to see a screen like this. And that basically means you have successfully installed this app on your phone. So. Uh, this is a very important step because all the program in order to run those program in your phone, you do need to have this app um, to receive it and then execute it. All right. So with this setup, we can go back to this editor. All right. So now I want to show you how you can run this application and see that in the actual phone. All right. So what you want to do is very simple and click on this connect. And then you have different options. And then as we suggested, we want you to use this first option called AI Companion. All right, so if you click on this and actually display a QR code, and then you basically just need to scan your QR code and then get your phone connected. All right, so it's that easy. Now, I just want to highlight one thing that before you do this, make sure your phone and your computer or laptop should be within the same Wi-Fi. All right, for example, right now in my laptop, if I click on my Wi-Fi, this Wi-Fi name LIPING is the one I'm using. All right, so but if I go to my phone and I check my settings here, and if you look at the Wi-Fi here, it's the same, also LIPING. So this is a correct setup. So you want to make sure both the phone and the computer are using exactly the same Wi-Fi. Otherwise, they probably can't really find it uh, correctly. All right, so if that's the case, now go back to the app. Let's click on this scan QR code. And then we're going to scan this QR code right here. And then when the app detects the QR code, it's going to try to connect it. As you can see, now once it's connected, this phone can actually receive the program you're doing here and then execute it uh, just like this. And this button right now, you can click on this, you can click on this one. Of course, nothing happened because we haven't programmed them yet. Um, but later on, we'll show you exactly how to program and make different interesting functions. All right. And then the nice part about this too is if you drag and draw, for example, I put another button, 
I can put another label and you will see that your app will be refreshed and synchronized automatically. So this is really a, co a convenient way for you to test your app. All right. So hopefully that gave you a process. If you can see the actual app running inside this phone here, um, that basically means you have made a successful setup. All right. But sometimes this Wi-Fi connection uh, connects through the app. AI companion may have some issues. If that's the case, please let me know as soon as you can. And then uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi probably doesn't work for some reasons, for some kind of security or maybe configuration reasons. We have another alternative for you to try. So uh, make sure you try this as soon as you can before the first class. And let me know if anything comes up. I can offer other uh, suggestions and alternative if this approach doesn't work. All right.